What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Learning Roblox Studio Series and today we're going to be covering the Building Unique 3D Objects course. As always, if you do enjoy the video or it does help you guys out, make sure you smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button and turn those post notifications on if you want to get notified when I upload more Roblox development content. Additionally, I do have a Patreon. If you guys like support me and gain access to a lot of the scripts that I make my other videos, there's a link down below in the script and you guys can check it out and support me if you're feeling kind enough. With that being said, let's get into it. Building Unique 3D Objects, getting started. In previous courses, you learned how to create basic parts like blocks, spears, and cylinders. These can be grouped together to create more complex models, but some objects cannot be efficiently built in this way, particularly those with hollow regions. To construct the objects in the images above, you'll use solid modeling tools. Solid modeling essentially uses two processes, union and negate, to creatively form complex models. Union. The union tool fuses multiple parts together to form one single part. We can then see the cylinder inside of another cylinder, and when they're union together, they are basically the exact same color, so they look like one natural part. Negate. The negate tool removes one part's geometric shape from another part to create a hollow region. So we can see we insert one cylinder into another cylinder, then we negate the one cylinder, and now the other cylinder is completely hollow. Part 2. Building an arch. An arch is a common structural element that is easily built using solid modeling tools. Now hop into Roblox Studio and either create a brand new game or load up any of your past games. It doesn't matter. I loaded up the game that we made in the last couple of episodes, and this is just going to go over building, so it really doesn't matter what world or place that you actually load up. So, create parts. A basic arch requires three parts to assemble. Insert a block part and scale it up to approximately the size of a door frame. Let's then go into our model tab and then look for the part icon and insert a block. You could do this exactly by just going into workspace and inserting part. By default, it's always a block, but I figured I'd show you the way that they are showing us to do right now. So now we have a door frame and that looks decently scaled. The next step is to insert a cylinder part and scale slash rotate it to intersect the center of the block. Make sure the cylinder extends completely through the block. So let's go ahead and add another part. This time we are going to add a cylinder. Let's go ahead and scale it so it's much larger and also make it a little bit longer as well. And then let's also disable collision so we can easily push this through. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Probably want to make it a little bit bigger though. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's also change the color of this just to kind of easily identify how big it's actually going to be. Next, we want to insert a block part and place it beneath the cylinder. It should be the same width as the cylinder and its top surface should line up with the vertical center center of the cylinder. Let's go ahead and add in another block. We'll move it below the cylinder and then let's just go ahead and stretch it out and up and then let's also stretch it a little bit far as well because that's how it should be and then we also want to make sure that the size is the same as the cylinder which they don't really instruct you on how to do that honestly which is kind of silly in my opinion so there we go that's decent i think that's good enough hopefully and then we want to extend this all the way down to the bottom okay that's not too bad negate hollow regions to remove regions that should be hollow you'll need to designate the negate parts and then union all the pieces together so we want to select both the cylinder and the smaller block just like this then inside of the model tab which we're already in we want to click the negate button and the, the negate is right next to the union and now we can sort of see there's like a shadow of them union all parts to complete the arch finalize the colors and materials of the arch and then union all three parts together we're not going to adjust the colors at all but we're going to go ahead and select all three of the parts so now these parts are no longer named part they're actually called negative part because they have been negated and we're going to select the original square right there and now we are going to hit union and just like that we now have an arch built awesome i mean i guess it's actually more like a doorway less like an arch considering it doesn't go through the bottom if we did want to fix that we could just Control z to unnegate those parts then select the square bring it down a little bit and then once again do the exact same thing so select both them negate them then select the original square and union them all together and there we go we now have our arch which does go through the bottom the arch is complete as a union model it becomes one single object in the workplace versus a grouped model of multiple parts so we can now see the whole thing is now called union which is different different than a part. Once union, parts cannot be individually moved or appearances changed. If you need to make edits, select the union model and click separate. When finished, union the model back together. So what we do, select the union model and then just click separate. And now we can actually make individual changes to every single thing that we have here. So like if we want to change the color of this, we could change that to blue and then we could select all of them once again and union them together again. And there we go, just like how they were previously. 
perfect. Another way to think about this is union combines objects together and separate basically undoes that combination, but you can once again select all those, union them together once again, and that'll be perfectly fine. There's also a couple of other examples in there which we'll also do real quick. Go ahead and add in a spear object, make it a little bit larger, and then on top of that, we are going to add in a block part. We are going to stretch it out a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that we stretch it enough to like it's halfway, and that's pretty good. Then we are gonna go ahead and negate the top part, and that looks perfect. And then let's also combine these two parts together by using the union. So now we have a half spear. We might actually be able to duplicate this, maybe make it slightly smaller, raise it up a little bit, and then we could try to negate this specific union. I'm not exactly sure if this will work, but I guess we're gonna go ahead and try. And then we select both of those circles and union them together. And just like that, we actually made a bowl. So yeah, we actually did that pretty nicely. Not bad at all. Sweet. And there's a couple of other examples on there, like how to make a half pipe and how to make a gear. Those are pretty cool as well. But yeah, union and negate are very, very useful features if you're a builder. And they're also really simple and easy to work with. Anyway, with that being said, as always, if this video does help you guys out or you guys did enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button and turn those post notifications on if you guys want to get notified when I upload more Roblox development content. Additionally, I do have a Patreon if you guys would like to support me or gain access to a lot of the other scripts I make in my other videos. There's a link down below in the description. You guys can check it out and support me if you're feeling kind enough. With that being said, I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.